hi guys welcome to my channel welcome to my second video on this channel my name is Anne. this channel is solutions underscore me and all we do here is talk about middle eastern fragrances a little bit of an intro i have another channel called scent solutions where i talk broadly about designer sprinkling of niche and very recently middle eastern fragrances but I decided to create a separate channel for my Middle Eastern fragrances because I've developed a keen interest in a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances and houses. And I just felt like I wanted to be able to talk through them in detail, especially with people who really do lean towards those type of fragrances. The Middle Eastern houses, of course, if you're somebody who is familiar with them, they are extremely intriguing. They make some very beautiful fragrances, some with oud, some without, some clones or smell-alikes of your contemporary designer or niche fragrances. But either way, they make beautiful fragrances, good quality, in my opinion, a lot of the time, as well as a beautiful price point, a pocket-friendly price point. And so for this reason, I have, you know, just decided to pursue talking about them because I'm intrigued and I'm passionate about Middle Eastern fragrances. I don't claim to know everything about fragrances. I'm not any technical expert on fragrances, but I just want to share what I like about some of these fragrances with you. So welcome on board. And if this kind of content appeals to you, please, please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a haul. Yes, this is a mini haul. I'm just talking about three fragrances, so it's not in, it's nothing, nothing out of this world. And I'm going to start with one that is really very popular these days. I'm not going to show the whole bottle because I want to, I'm not showing the whole pack. I want to talk about it in another video. This is called Camera by Latafa. This is the one that's supposed to be duping Angel Shea by Killian. Now, one thing about the Middle Eastern fragrance houses is that they will do the packaging right they get it right all the time look at this bottle i'm sure i mean when you look at the bottle you can kind of tell what this is mirrored after right this one like i said is supposed to be an angel shared dupe i will do a comparison video but today i'll just talk briefly about it in in the context of the haul. now i've used this I would say about three, four times um, in different conditions. So one, I think when it rained, another one in very hot weather. By the way, I stay in Lagos, Nigeria. And right now it's really, really hot in Lagos, in Nigeria in general. Now this one is a sweet fragrance. That's the essence of this fragrance. It is very sweet. It has some cinnamon. It has dates it's got praline there's tonka vanilla and some resinous i think there's benzoin or something in there here i get a crusty apple pie with a vanillic element to it so some vanilla essence as well as some cinnamon sprinkling and a date compote smeared on top that is essentially what i get from this fragrance so it is as gourmand as you could possibly wish for a very very beautiful fragrance i think that this one is if you like fragrances that smell very foody very realistic in terms of their gourmand nature this is something you should go for now does i mean does it have that boozy part of killian it doesn't have any boozy notes written but i do get a boozy entrance to the fragrance it, it and that that booziness doesn't last more than a minute or two now um in terms of longevity i get about two hours on my skin with this and a full day wear which is about eight hours on my clothes so that's yeah fair enough so that i can respray it and that's just to experience the fragrance again um it is a beautiful one i think that if you're a gourmand lover you will definitely love camera by latafa and i think that for the price point it is extremely 
extremely good value for money next up i have this one called musk al emirate i'll just open it this i've used about twice or thrice too yeah so this is just pretty much a musky fragrance what do i get this is so if you're familiar with Narciso Rodriguez, this is a designer from the designer world. They do musks well. So they have a lot of musky fragrances. There's the, the one in the cube. I don't know if I have the Narciso Pudre. I can't remember if the one in the cube is just called Narciso. I really cannot remember the name, but it's white. It's a white cube. It's predominantly white musk. I feel like that's what this is trying to mimic. But how this evolves on me is that it starts off almost rosy in my opinion so like a musky rosy start but you see that musky rosy start does not stay more than one minute into the second minute you start to get something that feels like patchouli there's a very earthy almost dusty scent that comes through from the second to third minute of wearing this fragrance on my skin it is earthy it feels very gritty and dusty and that carries me into i would say 45 minutes to an hour that's all i get that gritty muskiness uh an hour late still the muskiness maybe with a little bit of wood if i remember i don't get any florals from this all i get is that very swift hint of rose in the opening and then you know as it dries down the dirty gritty muskiness and towards the tail end it just becomes a musky soft skin scent and that's all that this is so this is for somebody who doesn't want to smell anything you just want that animalic musky type of scent which can be very sensual you know <laughs> but if you don't like a dirty gritty feeling you may not like this because that feeling lasts quite a while on this fruit is that dirty gritty it smells like patchouli or like a dirty animalic musk anyway that's what this is so this is musk al emirat i'm not sure if this is a love for me um i feel like it would be one of those ones i would use when i don't want to really smell anything and i just want a skin scent okay the last for today is this one called Tofa. I'll show you the pack. This is what the pack looks like. It has a little ribbon. Okay. And this is from, from Tofa. Oh, sorry. It's from Afnan Perfumes. The name of this is Tofa. Okay. Now, Afnan, they have some weird bottles, right? And this is one of them. Okay. So this opens opens this way okay and this is what it looks like atomizer quite good now what does tofa smell like so tofa to me smells like a cross between rosie's vanille and any other mainstream white floral that's what this smells like I don't know what the smell is in the opening, but this smells to me like there is jasmine, jasmine, some fruits, some, I don't know, something that makes it really powdery and then some muskiness in it. That's what I get. Now, if you have smelled Rose's Vanille, this is very similar to Rose's Vanille. So just imagine Rose's Vanille, but with a lot more white florals that's what this smells like essentially yeah so i feel like if you don't if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to mancera's roses for me this is actually a good way to go that scent just white florals with some sweetness with some muskiness as well 
you know that's really what i get out of this fragrance and some it's very powdery in the dry down and there's some vanilla in it as well to carry the fragrance so essentially these are all the fragrances i bought tofa is also a love for me i do like it but i have to be in a certain mood to be able to wear it because you know it's quite intense i would also not overspray this one uh, but it does have good longevity it lasts pretty much six to eight hours on my clothes and about three hours on my skin so on the skin the longevity is not too great but on clothes it will, it will give you a whole day's wear all right guys so those are the three perfumes that i hold i would be talking about some of them something like camera i'm going to do a comparison to angel share uh, for camera so watch out for that and thank you if you took the leap of faith and watched my little fragrance video on my little channel and hopefully you enjoy it enough to subscribe and we'll have a lot more videos waiting for you if you do thank you and enjoy the rest of your day or night bye guys